kick or whatever it's called? Ashley, Ashley Madison. Madison. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so she met up with you on uh, <laughs> on uh, Ashley Madison, and then you all talked for a while. Right. And then she all went out. And then while you were out, you told her you were in the military, you'd been prior law enforcement with Oviedo, mm -hmm. and that, uh, and then you, you said, I guess you all were going to get in a hotel. She said you paid for it. Uh, that You said you had to go back down to, uh, to the car, put your gun in the car, because you had to leave it locked up or something to that effect. I already know all this. So, no, That's so, exactly the same story Detective yeah. Torso told She me. said while she was down, while you were down there, she said something felt weird. She looked you right. up and realized that you had been on the sex offender thing. Sure. She said, and, and, and I'm totally on your side right here, right. so just listen to me, okay? So she said she came back up, she discussed it, she was upset about it, whatever, whatever. But then then she said she had contact with you again and went out with you a couple more times. No. No, what well, happened? Go ahead. I, I asked her, I said, well, if you were worried about it, right. why would you go out with him Exactly. Again? And that's why Detective Torso looked and, into it. And so then she said it was because she needed help. Right. She was turning to people that could help her. What she did was blackmail me for money. I'm not, I'm right. not here to dispute right. that or, sure. or to right. confirm that, okay? Right. I, I'm just telling you what she told me. Right. You, you asked about me talking. So to I you. bet you you talked to Jessica, and she told you the same thing. Because if you talked to Jessica about it, she was dating me at the time when she was blackmailing me for money. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it took a while because Jessica first denied She's it. She's very, very secretive. She denied it. Mm -hmm. She said she never had contact with that person, and she also said she never had contact with your wife. Well, she's never had contact. Jessica's never actually had contact with... Oh, oh that's not true. There's been a few times where she's called her and threatened her. I can tell you right. she has. Right. So, yeah. uh, listen to me. I've been working hard. Yeah. Talking to a lot of people. Sure. So, Jessica denied it. But when I start producing documents and phone records and stuff, they were like, oh, light bulb. Oh, right. I remember now yeah. when they started talking about it. So, yeah, they talked a couple of times, and I forgot yeah. about that. But that was... Just like they talked to your wife, and they both denied ever talking to your wife. Oh, I know. And Trust they me. talked to your wife. Mm -hmm. uh, it was an understanding, I guess, in, in the Egyptian culture, the Muslim culture, it's okay to have multiple, more, multiple wives. That is correct. So, which is not and a problem for me. some time, we were looking for a second wife, but that's so, not And, and I'll be honest with you. That's expensive. Right. It's hard to have one wife, right? Yes. So I was like, ooh, but uh, more power to you. But the fact remains that that was the issue. And then Jessica explained, and I confirmed it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, has your wife told you I talked to her? No. Okay. So did your wife ever try to run Jessica off the road? No. Okay. So I guess there was an incident that was they were at upset. the parking lot at my office, that not occurred, on right? the road. Yeah, but that occurred, right? Well. Let's see if you can tell me what Hold they on. told me. Hold on. Okay, Ultimately, because there's video of it, mm -hmm. which I had. Nobody's getting charged for it. Right. I, I just, What's I, funny is, is Jessica could actually be charged with false imprisonment. I, I just, What's I, funny is, is Jessica could actually be charged with false imprisonment because she I would, would let, back up. Mm -hmm. She used her car to block her. Right. So technically, on a bad day, when if she would have called the police and the story would have came out the right way, Right. Would have been a little different. Do you want to hear what Jessica said? Sure. The reason was, was because, and it was confirmed, uh, I, I guess that your wife was mad because Jessica was on your business. That is correct. And that's that, when, just so, so you know. So, just I've given you enough now to believe that I've talked to people. No, right? I, okay. I, I just want to make sure, because I don't want you thinking I'm just. So that if you know that you've talked to people, mm -hmm. Corporal, mm -hmm. sir, then you know that I'm not out there impersonating a police officer. Right. So we're going to get to that. I'm Hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish what okay. I was going to say. It's funny you should bring up Jessica and the business. Me and Jessica stopped seeing each other way before we both became business partners mm -hmm. because we felt that we needed to be more professional than that. You, you want to know what she said that reason was? Sure. Because you were too hot-headed. She said that you... She said that the idea was good, that the two of you were going to do this, but you were too high-headed, and that you would just get frustrated with people too easily, and so she's the one who had to run the business that way. She said that when you were arrested, when when uh, 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 filed the charges or notified sex crimes, <coughs> right. that you had not properly registered your two sites that you had. Right. Which, I'll be honest, I never knew you had to do that. But uh, I didn't know either. Yeah. And you know what's funny is, is they did like three or four years. That's my point. I and know. you know what's even funnier is, is I didn't get arrested for having the website. What I got arrested for was... Not telling them. No, because it was attached to my email. Mm -hmm. I didn't give them my username or right. something like that. Right. But I, I, I read all about it. Yeah. I mean, I, I didn't... 
I didn't whole, know. I listen, didn't know. There's a whole report know. on it, and I'll be honest with you, it had nothing to do with what I was looking at. So I, I just like, read the little captions. So I was like, whatever. I just I went and read the statute because something like that I want to be educated on. I want to understand so I ever come I across. I wish I was it. educated on it. Well, yeah. So because I I didn't do it on purpose. Had they said, hey, you got to register this, I would have came down. And, and and I said that to Detective Mr. Master Langelo. He's a really good guy too. Unfortunately, he's getting surgery on his knee, so he's getting out of this. Uh, he's going on leave or something. But I told him, I was like, you called me and told me to register my passport because I didn't know I had to do that. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you call me and tell me to register my email address or the, mm-hmm. the username? Why did you do it this time but not this time? Oh, because you guys wanted to search my house for guns because she called the FBI. She called OPD and the said FBI I was smuggling guns from listen, Egypt. I checked. FBI has no record of ever discussing or talking to you. So I don't know. You That's not true. FBI. How is that? I, I, went, I don't know. I met That's them down at the you. Maitland office. So you went and talked to them. They called me and oh. had me come in. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm being honest. I, <clears throat> when, so you made that comment when you talked to uh, Detective Allen over at Windermere that the FBI had spoke to you. You, you told me that in the interview that we had, and I watched the body cam, <coughs> excuse me, the video of, <coughs> excuse me, of uh, uh, the two officers in Tampa, and you said the same thing. Right. And so I was like, well, you know, once, yeah, whatever, two, he's saying it three times, this has got to be right. true. Yeah. So I started looking into it, and I, I couldn't find anything. No, I went and met, uh, if you give me my phone, I'll pull up his business card right now. I, 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 I'll believe you. Okay. So, so anyway... Mm-hmm. I guess once your wife found out that she was on your business right. as part owner, right. she lost her shit. Yes. Because one woman cannot own more than the other or have more in, in, in your religion, right? That's correct. Okay. And, and because of that, it was get rid of her now or leave me, lose me. Right. So, so just she never said that you left on bad terms. No. She actually, I'll tell you, she told me I can call him right now and he'll do anything I tell him to do. So if you want him to come here right now, he'll be here. That's how confident she was. Does it sound like her? She's a bit, very confident. She's person. a bit arrogant. Yes, she is. She's very confident. She's a strong woman. She is. I, I will one hundred percent agree with you there. Mm-hmm. So I'm surprised she didn't call you and tell you we talked. I mean, we talked for hours. No, she told me. She told me, but she didn't. She didn't let me understand that it was that in depth. Mm-hmm. The one thing that she did tell me was that when you guys, you just told me that you didn't know. But anyways, long story short. She told me, she told you in depth, 